Hello guys, Buffonet here and today I'm going to be talking about all the new updates and events that have been added to the game in the latest patch. So let's get started. First of all, when you log into the game for the first time during the collaboration, you will be able to choose between Iori and Jin. And once you choose them, then you will get a super mission for them, which lasts 7 days, as you can see. And by completing those missions, every day you are going to get yourself 2000 rubies, gold souls and purple souls, and also 3 star version of their special card. As you can see, I have chosen Yori Yagami. I have no idea why I have chosen him. It's, it's probably because I'm going to get Jin, Tekken 7 Jin from the Gacha. But if you are not going to summon for Tekken 7 Jin from the Gacha, I think it's better to choose the Tekken 3 Jin because, to be honest, this Yori Yagami is basically pretty useless. So I would recommend to go for Tekken 3 Jin if you are not, not going to summon for all, for the Tekken 7 Jin from the Gacha. So there is that. Make sure to do those missions every single day. Now. The next thing that got added is the Paul's Roulette. And basically, as you can see, it's in a bingo format, which we already had before. You are going to get those tickets from doing the daily event missions. Excuse me, that's the wrong button, of course. From the event missions tab, you can get five of the roulette tickets every single day. And if you are going for Paul, if you really want to get him, what you should do is, you, is that you should go to the private shop? No, not not private shop. What was it? The secret shop. Yeah, you should go to the secret shop, which is under the shop sh shop section. And as you can see in the secret shop, you can get yourself ten roulette tickets for 150 rubies, and you can get it every single day, I believe. And it's totally worth it. So if you really want to get Paul, make sure to always buy those. But I'm not going for Paul, like I said before in the previous video, so I'm not buying them. And the way you want to do this is that you should always aim for the triple double shards of Paul. If you get triple of one shard it's also fine but it's best to go after a triple of double shard but yeah let's see what i will get myself okay this we always claim this also we claim once again and yeah so since the raids are kinda you know not that great you usually should be going for the two soul shards of Paul anyway but if you will see that you are getting one of the soul shards for him very often just go for 1x bingo instead so there is that and once you get 200 of the souls you can craft Paul himself if you don't get his full character from the roulette and if you don't get his special card you also can craft it I believe by going under the craft button and in the battle card section you can see you need 150 souls in order to craft his special card so there is that another event that has been added is the rush event as you can see and basically you want to clear all of the chapters in this Tekken stage, all of the cough stages, all of the chapters in the cough stage and all of the chapters in the egg stage every single day. Because as you can see there is this daily special reward so you will be getting 50 rubies per day from clearing the, the stage. So if you clear Second stage, cough stage and X stage every single day you will be getting 150 rubies per day. So make sure to always clear those. 
and there is also the exchange shop so if you want to farm the the coins or tokens whatever you want to call them then you should be farming on this X stage every single day you just hit auto replay use 120 stamina for one auto replay and you basically just do this all the time using the bonus reward characters of course and cards if you have them and yeah then you will be farming the coins and what I would recommend doing is getting Armor King his special card and all of the Armor King souls but everything else that you can see in this shop like the attack capsules defense HP and Tekken Affinity Mystery Box and Gold basically if you are not going to be going after Paul then I wouldn't farm this event at all because the capsules are very easy to get in this game but if you really want to get Paul then I think you should be using all of your stamina on this event because at the end of the auto repeat or like whatever it's called auto replay once you do auto replay you are going to get a box and from this box you can get one ticket for the Paul roulette so if you are going for the, for for Paul just make sure to farm this all the time spend your stamina on it and you will just basically clear the whole shop and I recommend for you if wants to clear the Armor King his special card his souls and the capsules just go after the affinity box it's way more important than gold just don't get gold at all just go after affinity box but I Myself, I'm not going to be farming on this event. I'm only doing it, uh, doing the daily clears to get rubies, and it will still be enough for me to get Armor King, his special card, and his souls, and that's all I care about personally. So yeah, there is that. Another thing that got added is the new time attack for the Tekken. As you can see there is time attack novice for Tekken and basically you want to do it every day and you are going to be getting daily reward from it. As you can see I'm in top 500 and that's where I am usually at. Also what I want to show you is that I have managed to get under 120 on the time attack novice today which I'm very proud of because it, it was really hard for me to get under 120 and it's the first time ever that I was able to do it so you know I just wanted to brag for a little bit let me have this moment there you go top 50 1.15 time and yeah I just wanted to show you this because I'm really proud that I was able to do it. But yeah, this is off topic guys. Don't worry too much about it. Now we are going to continue. Other events that have been added. Let's see. In the event quest. So. Wait, no, this is the for the update section. Okay, I never showed you this. You forget. I never showed you. Okay, so. Another thing that got added is the. Yamazaki, 5 star Yamazaki is out and what I would recommend doing is once you clear the hard and expert ones and once you unlock lunatic only do lunatic every single day just do lunatic only because this is not worth your stamina there is too many events going on right now at the same time and it's just not worth it to farm the expert and hard difficulty for him just farming lunatic every single day is enough so there is that and that's my opinion at least on the matter and there is also you can also get his option card and what I recommend doing for this is just do expert every single day just once for the daily mission and if you get it that's fine if you don't get it that's also fine because you are not going to be using it anyway okay the last thing that got added from the new event is this extreme difficulty midsummer festival with Athena? 
and if you collect 500 medals which will probably not be possible because there is how long there is 11 days left so it's probably not possible without using rubies but don't worry it will be back later on maybe in a few weeks or something or a few months who knows anyway if you once you get 500 medals you will be able to craft the new special card for Athena and even if you don't want this card you should always do it all of the three entries every single day on this difficulty because it gives 2000 account exp per clear so it's really really good so make sure to always do this and yeah I believe those are all of the events that have been added to the game now let's talk about the new updates that have been implemented into this patch which you may know of or not so first of all when you go under the fighters section and let's say I want to I don't know level the affinity for my KO94 so now once you go under the under your, under your fighter and under the affinity menu once you click on the food now you can click on this red button the next to the cancel you can see who else likes this food and you can also see what affinity levels are for those characters at so this is a very nice update so that's the first thing that got updated another thing that got updated is when you go to the craft menu and you go under under the battle card let's say or item let's go under the item section now once I click for example on this item now you can actually select the quantity like before the dispatch the button the plus button didn't work but now it works so there is that now another thing that got updated is that thing that I showed you before <laughs> But we didn't talk about it which is this arms black event <laughs> and right now as you can see the expert not only gives the elemental souls but you also get the as gold souls also hard mode got updated too now you get not only the red souls from it you also get as cove gold souls and before from the hard difficulty you were only getting shards for the specific characters so it was not worth doing but right now it's totally worth it to do expert and hard as well every single day and normal also got updated you can get cough silver souls but in my opinion this one is not worth doing it's not worth your stamina but it's up to you even if you do it it's still pretty decent but in my opinion you should spend your stamina for something else but hard and expert is now totally worth it and you should be doing every day and the last thing that I would like to talk about which got updated is when you go under the exchange shop to the exchange cards exchange special cards now you can see that some new special cards have been added like for example this Kula special card or Angel there is also Weep which tells us, tells us basically that we are going to be getting the Christmas banner soon and there is also the special card for the new character that we don't have yet which will be for the step up and what I would recommend doing is if you have some useless special cards and if you have Angel then you definitely want to get this angel special card she needs it and it will help you a lot for example in the epic quest fight against Geonids there is also Mr. Big special card as you can see there is also Leona the classic one and yeah what else I wanted to tell you before I end this video is that during, once this step up ends, the one that we have with King and Maxima, we are probably going to get Mr. Big and this Chinese girl, which name I don't remember. And basically, you don't want to summon this banner. Don't spend rubies on step up banners in this game. Never. Don't spend it even on King or Maxima. 
Why? Because all of these characters that we have had so far in this game on Step Up can all be chosen from the 5 star selector ticket later on. If you have 5 star selector ticket, you can get basically every character that we had in this game for the step up so far. And Mr. Big and this Chinese girl, which I which name I don't know, is also included in the guaranteed 5 star selector ticket. So just don't spend on the upcoming step up banner and don't spend on any step up banner and that will be the best the, be the best thing to do trust me just don't spend on the step up banners in this game because they are just not worth it okay so that's all I wanted to talk about in this video once again there is no gameplay but maybe for the next video, I don't know, let me know if you would like to see some more gameplay and let me know which topics you would like me to talk about in the future videos if possible. And yeah, once again, thank you guys so much for watching and remember that if you like the video to like it and I will see you guys next time.